I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Oh man, for the longest time, you know how in like uh. You know how, like, in Japanese restaurants, when you go in and they're like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always, I always like, say. I'm always like, hi! Hello. But you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to. Oh. It's, like, it, it, apparently you're just supposed to be, you're supposed to let them be more polite than you. Oh. Because they're, like, inviting you into their place. But that's... So you just have to kind of be like, uh. But that flies in the face of what we've been brought up. To yeah. Be, to, to, like, like, be polite to each other. Yeah, just don't ignore yeah. people when they say hello. Yeah. So. Interesting shit. Man. Yeah. I'll just be ruder next time. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to be rude. I ate at uh, the Japanese place nearby uh, your house yeah. uh, for lunch. And um, I was like, sometimes after I have sushi, I like to polish it off with a little green tea ice cream. Yeah. God damn it, it's so fucking so slow. Um, come back. If not, 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 not. <laughs> um, yeah, polish it off with a little green tea ice cream. And yeah. I was like, hey, do you... Um, so I ordered it, and they were like, actually, ooh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ooh. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Um, but yeah, she, she was like, in a very sweet, like, Japanese way, she was like, oh, I'm sorry, we don't serve dessert here. And I just wanted to be like, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! Damn it! <laughs> but you were probably like, oh, no worries. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Huh. I'll get some green tea ice cream somewhere else. <laughs> like Japan! <laughs> like that other Japanese restaurant! Yeah! Which that I, I will decided be... to go here instead of! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's Cho Kawaii. <laughs> Except, but not Kawaii, right? Yeah, not Kawaii. Because that's scary. That's scary. Oh, God, man, I can't. Yeah. All these fucking rules! <laughs> and no ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> Next I'm, time on Game Grumps. I'm not huge on green tea. What? Caught a big old case of the fuck yous. <laughs> a big old case of the fuck yous? That's what I'm talking about. I get that every time I order a sandwich at Subway. <laughs> what do you mean? Just like... If, if there's somebody... But like, everything about Subway is, is like infuriating. Really? Yeah, it's like... The people in front of you take too long, and like, there's no drive through and like... It's, it's just all... I don't know, I'm over-exaggerating, obviously, but Subway's like the land of inconveniences. Yeah, it's, I mean... Cause it's like, it's, ugh, I have to be okay, and they're like, what do you want? And I'm like, uh... Sweet onion chicken teriyaki foot long on flatbread, and then they're like, What bread? And it's like, ugh, flatbread, <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay, and then they, they fucking take, and they're like, did you say foot long? Yes, I said foot long. Yeah, and oh, like... You, you want cheese? You already have so many, like, bad experiences with the place <laughs> yeah. that, like, it becomes self-fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. Like, the second you walk in, they're like, hi, how can I help you? And you're like, oh, <laughs> with this shit Not again. This again. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you want cheese? It's like, yeah, can I get, um, Swiss cheese? And they're like, what kind? And it's like, fucking... <laughs> yeah, you know, the kind I just said. Ugh. And they're like, toasted? And it's like, of course to- You can't have the flatbread and not toast it! It's- it's like spongy, gross, starchy-ass fucking bread. <laughs> it's made to be toasted. Wow. Of course I want it toasted! And then they fucking toast it, and then they start helping the people behind you, and then it sits <laughs> in the toaster for like 20 <laughs> seconds longer than it's supposed to. Whoa! And you're like, I just want lunch! You are- And then they fucking take it out, and it's like another person, and then you have to fucking <laughs> get a read on their personality. <laughs> It's like, God damn it! And they're like, what do you want? And it's like, and I'm like, uh, spinach. And then they just fucking destroy it with spinach. Just like an avalanche of spinach. And you're like, I want like five other things! You can't just fill it up with spinach and think that's all it's gonna be. Wow. Wow. And then you fuck it, and then you're like, onion. And they're like, okay, and they put like two onions on it. And it's like, more onion, please! <laughs> <laughs> and then when you like get some weird combination, like fucking, could I get mayonnaise and also sweet onion sauce? They finally they like throw up their eyeball, uh, eyebrows a little bit, like whoa, whoa. <laughs> and you're like, don't fucking judge me. I'll eat what I want. I can make my own sandwich. <laughs> don't fucking judge me. <laughs> wow. Next time on Game Room. <laughs> Next wow! <laughs>
<laughs> Bro, you just went fucking off on Subway. All you had to say was their food is gross. <laughs> That's what I say. Hold on, there's something I wanted to share. I was driving by, um... We record, uh... Like, the Ninja Sex Party songs and stuff in a place in Arcadia. And there's a lot of restaurants there. And, uh, I drove past this little gem. Kevin, can you put that up for a second? Young Dong? <laughs> Why haven't we eaten there yet? I- why haven't you eaten there is the question. We, Dan. I, I prefer my dung a little a bit more mature, my friend. <laughs> but it's not fresh if it's not young. Oh, God. Look at how young that dong is! Oh, God. It's so funny. I love shit like that. They have to know, right? Young dong? <laughs> young dong! It's like not even in small font, you know? Like, the, yeah, there had to have been some fucking, like... Some fucking like, y'all know your sign says young dong out there? <laughs> you know what dong means, right? Now, I don't know what dong means in your country, but here it means big floppy dick. Can't stress that enough. Oh, yeah. But you know what? That's why we came in here. <laughs> that's, that's why we came in here. Can uh, I get the young dong special? Yeah, gonna need that dong. Thank can you. Can I get the you. plate of young dong? <sighs> All right, awesome. Can I get the simmering young dong? The quivering young <laughs> dong, please. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's it. I think that was it for really? us. Really? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Aaron wins! <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Oh, let's do one more. Yeah, let's do yeah, one yeah. more. Um, yeah, stroke play. <laughs> Still need it. Dude, we um, gonna do stroke play. Dude, we should go play this at Young Dong so we can have some stroke play at Young Dong. <laughs> <laughs> I would really, really like that. Yeah. Yes. Woo! Ready to play, baby! Oh, shit! Oh, my asshole's leaking! Look at- ew. Do you think the people who do the Sonic voices eat at Sonic on their break? Of course. To stay in character? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna need a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see the Mega64 video about Sonic? N the food place? Both. No, I haven't. It's like them eating at Sonic, and they're oh, like- awesome. <laughs> And they're just like, Why do we keep coming back here? <laughs> We always think whenever we're like, let's get Sonic, it's gonna be great this time. <laughs> but it always ends up being mediocre. I've done that. <laughs> I've absolutely done that. But like, they're actually talking about Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh yeah. We've- we've had- we had a place called Famous Dave's. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's a chain, but there was definitely one in Jersey. And we'd drive by it like, every night. And we'd just be like, someday, we're gonna eat at fucking Famous Dave's. <laughs> it just became this big thing. And we were like, and eventually it got so built up that we were like, you know what? I bet it would really actually suck if we went there. Let's never go there. And then we were like, fuck it, no, let's go there, it'll be awesome, and it sucked. <laughs> it sucked. Yeah, and it ruined the magic of driving by Famous Daves and being like, Famous Daves! I think they- <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Famous fucking Daves! It's got that fucking repetitive vowel sound. It's got that assonance I love. Oh, yeah. yeah. Assonance. Ass. Ass assonance. Ass. She's innings. got great assonance. assonance. Ass ass innings, innings, <laughs> ass <assonance. laughs> Oh, we're tired. I've never been to Famous Dave's. I think there's one down the road or something. Is it? Oh, there, there. It is a chain then. I think there. Yeah, I think there's one up there. It looked pretty chain like. It, it sounds familiar. Was it? Was it burgers? They do burgers. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like corporate like food, like a Bennigan's. Like TGI Fridays kind of place. Oh. Ugh. I love it. I love that Ugh. style. Ugh. Really? Yeah, I do. I oh. do. I just watched you going, eat everyone. and shit curry almost simultaneously. Dude, curry is delicious. That's not fucking like a a fancy fancy American burger star spangled sprinkler. It's so funny. It said like these dowels seem to be a little loose on the screen. But because of what we're talking about, I thought it said these bowels seem to be a little loose. I'm like, wow, Aaron, they know. They know all about you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I know. Yeah, everybody, don't, don't everybody knows. Know. I'm talking about motherfucking... You know what I'm talking about. Poop. Fucking... Should I not I, I, I spelled it you, out like that? Okay, do you like Applebee's? I do. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. I had the Applebee's punch card. Where it was like little apples in a tree, and they punch out one of the apples every time you eat there. <laughs> and then when you finish the tree, they give you a free meal. But I didn't cash it in because I was too proud that I'd eaten at Applebee's like 14 times. 
<laughs> they knew me by name there. Oh god. Yeah, that was in Philly. Dude. It was just right near where I worked, and like, they had a bar so you could watch the football game. And I, I, I had, I had me a thing for chicken nuggets. <laughs> the, dude, you just got... 5,000 rings. Why would they put a hundred more rings next to the 15,000 rings they just gave you? Today was not a cardio day. What the fuck is anything right now? <laughs> Go on, say I was, I was gonna thing. talk about Applebee's. Go ahead, criticize my fucking lifestyle. I fucking Susie and I got I don't remember who gave it to us. Diarrhea. Um we <laughs> I it was Applebee's. Somebody gave, gave us forty dollars of Applebee's gift cards. Yeah. We were like, all right, let's go to Applebee's. Yeah. We went we went to Applebee's and we both ate there. And we were just like looking at each other like how do we get out of here? And, and we both had this same moment where we like looked to the people next to us. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were like just starting their meal and we were like Oh. Do you guys want a twenty dollar gift card to yeah. Applebee's? Oh. <laughs> Did you actually? <laughs> yeah, you we, gave it we away. We used our first gift card and then gave away the second oh one. Oh my god! Because we were never going back wow. there. Wow, that's sad. Yeah, I would have taken it. Like we just, ah, oh, fuck. We just, we just got our food and like started eating. And we were just like, there, oh. There's a um. God. There's a football player named Marshawn Lynch, and he, he's. Now plays for Seattle, but he used to play for the Buffalo Bills. And Buffalo gets kind of ragged on sometimes because of all the cities with sports teams. Buffalo is kind of like one of the smaller cities that there may not be quite a lot to do, you know, as much as there is in like New York or something like that. And um, so they interviewed him and they were like, What's your favorite thing about living in Buffalo? And he was like, The Applebee's. And like all my friends were like, oh god, and I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Let's go, Buffalo. I know that shit, bro. Yo, I'm down with it. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Oh. This diner I used to go to uh, back in uh, my old home in Jersey. It's called the Union Plaza Diner, and it used to have this, um, like all around the yay space. Was it in Union Plaza? Uh, no, it was in. It, I think it was in Union. Technically, it was on Route 22. It's still yeah. there today. If anyone's super excited about a tasty grilled cheese, um, who isn't? Oh God, fucking no one I want to hang you, out. Yeah, with. you must be some kind of creep. <laughs> <laughs> but they had um, they had little train tracks all around like the upper wall of the uh, uh, of the restaurant, and every now and then there was just a train that would like roll across the entire thing, and occasionally you'd just be eating and it would roll by and you'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> It was super exciting. Hi, Mr. Train! And it's yeah. like, choo choo! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was crazy exciting when I was uh, six, and then again when I was stoned at 18. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place like that in Florida, it's an ice cream shop. Called Sloan's. I think there's I think there's multiple Sloan's in the world. Ooh, really? Yeah. And, Sounds uh, good. They have a they have a trick bathroom. What? <laughs> yeah. Those are two words I don't ever want in the same sentence. So it's a bathroom that has <laughs> it has a fucking <laughs> it has a gigantic window, like uh, like a window that's just like the wall that's leading out to the rest of the store. <laughs> but if you lock the door. Go on. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the window just like reveals everything you're doing in the bathroom. But if you lock the door behind you, then it like clouds the window so you can't oh, see through no. it. But you can see, still see through oh, no. to the restaurant like while you're That's not relaxing. dropping a deuce. Yeah. Oh man. And it's only, get this, it's only in the women's bathroom. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on, Sloan's. That's harassment. I know. It's like so the fucking cool. owner of Sloan's is like, what if we have a jug bathroom? Okay, hear me out. <laughs> we have a joke bathroom <laughs> where there's a window, and if you lock the door at the girls' bathroom, you know you could. You, that's a debate. But some girls are not going to lock the door, so <laughs> technically it's not my fault. It's not, I'm just serving ice cream, and whoops, there's vagina. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. This is a hard one, man. 
<laughs> Whoops, there's vagina. Oh, how many times have I said that in my life? <laughs> and just to make sure we can have security camera inside bathroom. I don't know. I don't, I don't know yeah, yes, we can there. make sure. We, we don't want anyone. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, are, e what ethnicity is our, our man? Uh, Scratching. <laughs> Tell me the tale. Susie and I were in, oh. uh, I believe we were in Texas. And we stopped at a Whataburger to get some food. And I ate the Whataburger. We got in the car. God damn it. I God know, damn it, help you, me! You're blocking me. I'm sorry. Alright, so Susie, Susie and I ate at a Whataburger. Uh-huh. We ate that shit up. It was delicious. And then we got back in the car, got back on the road. And, uh, then we got off at the next exit, at the next Whataburger. <laughs> And, uh, just evacuated. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, and, and I was like, man, that's Both the, of you? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's rough. And, uh, that was <laughs> our first run-in with the concept of the yum to dump <laughs> Because the yum to dump was literally five minutes. Wow. It was, it was like immediate food, immediate bowel evacuation. I've, I've never had that. That's like, for, for someone with my digestive system, where I'm lucky if it happens like once a week, like, you, uh... You are truly living the dream, whose name I dare not speak. <laughs> well, that's weird, because I have a horrible digestive system too, but it's the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shit too much. It's terrifying. And, uh, it's- it's- it gets in the way, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, we're, if we're out, especially here in LA, where it's just like, nobody wants you to use their bathroom, no matter what. That's Even if true. you're a fucking customer, some people would be like, no. It's for employees only. Yeah. And it's like, you guys serve food. Nobody else pees in the world. Yeah. It's like, fucking come on, man. That's yeah. a na natural- okay, then I'll pee on your store. Yeah. And you do. Yeah. There's a- for- considering how illegal public urination is here, it happens a lot. <laughs> Oh, 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 no! Oh, my soul! <laughs> you deserved it. Oh, my soul! <laughs> my heart, my soul! Lordy, lordy, take me to the Waffle House. <laughs> I'm gonna need some sustenance tonight. Oh, God. We're making love. <laughs> and I want it to be a warm, syrupy, maple flavor <laughs> love, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever eaten at Waffle House? Yeah, they're great. Oh boy, oh boy. I love their waffles. Oh yeah, you're from Florida, I forgot. Their waffles are fucking delicious. Shit is disgusting. Dude, their waffles are great. I can't think of a less sanitary place than Waffle House. Everything else is disgusting. Yeah, yeah. I think there there have been, of all restaurants, I think there have been the most murders at Waffle House. Is that right? Yeah. I- I almost feel, based on the level of food, that perhaps when someone is murdered, they just throw them in the batter. <laughs> let them become more- Whoa! That was pretty rad. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah. No, um, no disrespect to anyone who loves or works at Waffle House. I- I'm telling you, I love their waffles! That shit is- that- that is so synonymous with the South, to me. Like, whenever I would drive, like, south from New York, like, uh... As soon as I started spotting Waffle Houses, I was like, "Yup, here I am." In the the other, <laughs> the other part of the country. Dude, man, it's it. This shit's delicious. Uh, it's the South in general. I it's, find Southern people to be super delicious. Oh fuck, dude, they're fucking biscuits and gravy. Oh boy, dude, that shit is good. You've never had one of my breakfasts. You know what I have had? That's what? Southern as fuck. Sweet tea, like the kind that makes you cough because it's so sweet. Oh yeah, sweet tea's oh. great. Jeez. So oh, nice. it's- of course it's strong! Look at the size of it! It's not actually that strong. God, that's something you would see, like, in Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you wish you'd done that brand deal with us now, Burger King. I just- I tweeted I wouldn't be some... talking smack on you. Dude, I- I, <laughs> I talked some smack on Burger King today. Did you really? On Twitter, yeah. Which is randomly? I tweeted out- because I had Burger King today. Uh huh. Because I was hungry and I was on the way to work and I was like, ah, fucking goddamn it. I have it. not had Burger King since 1996. It's disgusting. Is it? It's like one of the most disgusting, revolting things. I remember I've watching. Life. I'm sorry. You know what? Finish your story. Go ahead. Well, you know what? No, I don't want to. Really? Yeah. But what, no, I want to know what you said to them on Twitter. Oh, oh. I just said, I tweeted at Wendy's and I was like, oh. hey, uh,. I ate some bur I ate a Whopper today, and I was hoping it was a I was hoping that Christ it's a hot and juicy, but it wasn't. <laughs> and I tweeted it at Wendy's, and Wendy's was like, "Whatever." <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? I fucking yeah. Fuck I thought we had then. a thing going. 
but I love Wendy's, so I want yes, them do. to like me. Right. All I was going to say was um, uh, the last time I was in Burger King when I was a little kid, or a teenager, I, re I remember I was going to order chicken nuggets, I guess they call them. Um, uh, chicken tenders. Jesus. Yeah, they call them chicken tenders. Yeah. And uh, I saw the person, like one of the people who worked there, dragging in an entire clear garbage bag filled with like frozen Burger King chicken tenders. And I was like, wow, like you could just literally put that garbage bag of chicken tenders into a garbage and I'd be cool with that. And instead they're going into my mouth. And it was just a very, a very unappetizing sight that I probably wasn't supposed to see. Yeah, I don't think they want a lot of people realizing how they do their food. Yeah. Like Olive Garden's like, what, it was like 80% of their food is just like fucking frozen. Yeah, yeah, sure. Whoa, oh, hey. Shit. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Definitely, definitely a place like Denny's. Except they actually do make all their breakfast shit there. Denny's was the last place I've eaten where, like, my stomach talked to me afterwards and was like, What the fuck was that? <laughs> what are you doing? Would you please give me something I can use? This is not gonna, like, I don't know how to apply this to your body. Like, you realize this is, this is just, like, what, what fuels you. Yeah. For your life. That being said, I really enjoyed my meal there. So, rock on, Denny's. I don't mind Denny's. Yeah, Denny's, cool. Denny's serves its purpose. Do you think at the end she he, she finds her mom or like? No, probably not. It's like a twist tragedy ending. Yeah, like she gets there and her mom is like, like it all leads her to a Bennigan's and she realizes her mom has chicken fingers now. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever eaten at a Bennigan's? Because I yeah. I sure haven't. There was a Bennigan's. It's gone now, but there was a Bennigan's on Route 22 near where I grew up. Isn't in New Jersey? Isn't that the restaurant that the restaurant in waiting is based on? Shenanigans? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, but yeah, there was a Bennigan's there, and by- That was like where you'd go to hang out in high school. Like, because there was- it's fucking New Jersey, and really aren't that many places to hang out. Yes. Yes. Um... But it was kind of, uh... Kind of gross. And really, like, it was one of those things, like, they knew it was, uh... Yeah, go! First of all, they, they had checked out completely. Like, they, they knew... The people who worked there knew it was closing down long yeah. before. Like, um... They did it, and like, uh... Uh... They had checked out, and as a result, like, we kind of checked out as customers. Right. So, like, we, we were just assholes in high school. And, uh, whoa, look at you, you ballsy bastard! So you checked out as customers. Oh, yeah, so we checked out as customers, and like... We, uh, it was my birthday. It must have been my, like, I don't know, like, 17th birthday or something like that. Right. My friends all took me, and, um, we ordered, like, the, whoa, whoops. <laughs> um. <laughs> Just want to see how fast I could kill her. Three seconds. Fair enough. Three seconds. My friend told them it was my birthday, and they got, they brought the cake out, and they did, like, the, happy, happy birthday, from Benny gonna see you. Yeah, you know, like, they all yeah. come out clapping. And then, like, half an hour later, my friend ordered another cake for me to like a different waiter and so like they start coming out with the cake is like happy happy birthday from ben again to you and like they, that's when they realized that they were bringing it to the same table you're like oh they <laughs> fucking assholes <laughs> <laughs> i also had a friend i also had a friend who like <laughs> would would just act like a spaz like not like not trying to be like an asshole or anything well kind of like an asshole i guess um, a spaz like me? You're not talking about me, are you? No, no, no. He, uh, he'd be like, hey, what can I get for you? And he'd be like, I'm gonna have some chicken fingers! Like, just really, like, random <laughs> shit like that. It's the kind of shit that, like, kind of Oni and, like, um, yeah. pebbles, like, they remind me of that behavior. Uh, in a good way. Um, but, like, <laughs> he'd just be like, and, uh, let me get a, let me get a Coke. And they'd be like, is Pepsi okay? And he'd be like, Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and like the rest of us are trying so hard not to laugh. Because we don't want to encourage him because we feel bad for the waiters. Right. And at the same time, it's super fucking funny. So we're all like... <laughs> I do that at, uh, at drive-thrus. Oh, yes, you do. 
God, you did it at one drive through and I can't remember what it was, but it was so fucking funny. <laughs> it was like, hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> and they're like, oh, how's it going? And I'm like, no, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were like, do you know what you want? And you're like, you better believe I do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember my friend uh, went through uh, like the Wendy's drive through one time. Maybe not Wendy's, might have been White Castle, one of those. And he was like, uh, uh, she was, he just gave her the order and she was like, would you like a chocolate shake with that? He was like, um, duh. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> and she's like, I know, I should have known. She was like, <sighs> fuck. She was a lot more like, I don't get paid nearly enough to deal with your bullshit, <laughs> you Jersey dick. <laughs> what, if, what if she was like genuinely fucking like upset with herself for like a day afterwards? She's like, I really should have known. He fucking, he was totally within his rights to dirt me. He totally had, he... Everybody gets a milk. Everybody! He should have double dirt me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a double dirt. I think at this point it's pr pretty much... Uh, it's my fault. It's my fault. I deserve that. I deserve that. <laughs> she like starts like cutting herself. <laughs> oh god, that's, that was really sad. That was a really sad way to end the with, with like the fry cooker tray. <laughs> oh god. The side of the pro fry cook tray. Yeah. She just slowly starts dipping her head in the fry grease. Uh, uh, uh. No, this is what I deserve. <laughs> Gosh dang it! God damn, Captain Phone Call. Fucking. All right, we'll pause it. On. We'll pause it. Okay, and we're back. I hate when they order food. I'm just gonna go on a little rant right now. <laughs> yeah, please do, please do. In case you were wondering, we just had to stop the episode and inconvenience hundreds of thousands of people so Aaron could like order a tomato bisque soup. <laughs> that wasn't fucking me. I I know for somebody else. It was okay. So my number is uh, listed under the account that we order. Eat 24 food from right for delivery for delivery here, and so I'll, I'll be like gone all day And then I'll get a fucking call from some <laughs> number I don't recognize and I'm like, oh man I hope this is important and I answer it and it's like oh hello. This is uh, the pizza <laughs> place Do you want uh, it says that you order two pizzas. Do you really want two? and I'm like, I don't know <laughs> Yes, sure. I'm sure there was not a mistake about how many pizza- Nobody makes mistakes about how many pizzas they want. That's a good Even point. Even if they only wanted one and they get two, they're like, oh shit, two pizzas. Yeah, sweet. I'll so eat this fucking, also. Yes. Not even later. Yes, sure. Great. Thank you. Thank you for calling me. Yeah. I was in the middle of a fucking meeting and I just got rapid fire dialed from a number I don't <laughs> recognize. Yeah, that girl was determined. Well, but it, it, because they like need to know because they, they don't want to make too much food and like overcharge you. Right, right, right. And fudge, my rage just like completely destroyed these guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another fucking thing about the pizza. You know, pretty much the only time I've I've actually caught a fish was when we went to that restaurant in Japan. I caught like like a ton of fish at that restaurant. Oh yeah, you you were good. And then I I with Kevin got the tiniest fish. I, I ever. misunderstood. So do you want to explain this restaurant to people? So we went to this place in Japan where there is basically a river running through the restaurant filled with fish. And like giant like spider crabs and shit. It's just like it's like an aquarium and They hand you a fishing rod and they hand you some bait and they say catch your dinner and You don't have to you can like order stuff off the menu, but you basically like we like had a little window Outside so we were we were sitting Below the surface of the water and we had a window where we could see into the water and then windows up above that we would open. Solo Travel Blog did a video about the place. Oh, did he? Yes. Awesome. So, you look that up. And basically, we like, had to catch fish, and then we would catch them, and we'd freak the fuck out, because we just caught a fish, put it in a bag, and then the wait staff were like, thank you, we'll take the fish, and then they cook it and bring it to you. Mm -hmm. So we had one that was like, cooked and, or grilled or something, we had one that right. was like, sashimi. It was pretty fresh fish, I must say! But- Can I, can I just say that yeah, I we, thought that- I th My understanding was that, uh, you could only get f food from the menu if you caught the fish. Oh. So I was on the assumption I had to catch everyone's dinner. So I was <laughs> catching so many fish, <laughs> and then true. and then I was like, I didn't realize that I was supposed to, well, basically be the one to eat them all, and I didn't need that much you fish. Kept, kept, you kept like we 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 all be talking and hanging out, and you just turn around and be like, hey, here's another fish, and we'd be like, what, why the fuck are you catching more fish? I know how to fish. I used <laughs> to fish. I was I was a pretty good fisherman as a kid. 
But um, basically, Kevin and I worked together, and we we caught the smallest. Yeah, it took fish. it took two of you guys to catch one fish. It took one it of me like, to catch like, like four fish. It was like the size of my hand, and you caught one the size of your head. The only thing that sucked was I didn't realize that they bring the fish out to you with the the, the face like still go, like gasping oh. for air. Oh yeah, they and, they were very freshly killed. And uh, Holly was not prepared for that, and she broke down crying because she doesn't like animals getting hurt. I mean, the animals were- the, the fish were clearly dead. I mean, it had, like, all of its bones oh, exposed all the stuff. muscles were, like, still going, but, uh, like... Yeah, you, you- every now and then, the tail would kind of twitch. Yeah. Which I thought was fucking cool. I was like, wow! That thing was alive, like, ten seconds ago. I know, but, it, but uh, Holly hates animals getting injured, so she, yeah. she was crying. I, I she felt thought really it, bad for her. I know, I felt so bad, I- because I was the one that caught and technically killed the fish, so I, I was like... I was- I was Oh no, so... I'm getting a divorce. Because they put it down, and, like, just the motion of them putting down, you see it kind of, like, wobbling around, you're like, whatever. And they put it down and walk away, and it's still moving? And I just started laughing because I was like, I was shocked. I just never had seen that before. I know, that was so weird. Uh, and and then I looked over at Holly and I was like, oh no. Yeah. She was really upset. I mean, I think it's also just that trying to be a vegetarian in uh, in Japan, Japan is not easy. <laughs> no, they, they love their meats. Fish is, well, I mean, she's she's not, she technically is pescatarian, which means she can eat fish, but she doesn't like to eat fish. She just, sure. she, she, and she it's will. Especially hard when it's just like, oh yeah, no, I was holding this thing alive. You know, five minutes ago, and now I'm eating it, and it's delicious. Honestly, I would just like to go there and just fish, and then let the fish go. But catch and release. Yeah, catch and release, basically. They actually did say that there were some fish that we weren't allowed to catch. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. a shark in there, <clears throat> like an actual like uh, natural that. predator. Do you um, remember the, the fucking spider crab thing that would just like walk oh, by? We're not allowed to catch. We weren't allowed to catch him either. It was fucking cool. Or they had an octopus, I think. Yeah, there was a few fish that were just solely yeah. there for show. They were so cool. Okay. Let's yeah, that was. A, I would go back there. Yeah, and like obviously the fish was really good. I would go there, back there, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't take Ollie. No, no, I, I felt really bad for her. Well, next time on Steam Train, we're gonna keep on farming, farming trees and humans. Humans. Ugh. Straight up, straight up. Yes. Keep going. My friend and I were in ah CVS. Um, no, a Kentucky Fried Chicken. God, it's been a while. I can't remember the story clearly. Uh -huh. But we were in a uh, a fast food restaurant, and uh, whoa, and uh, this woman, this large woman really? was. It, it was a bit of a ghetto restaurant. If mm -hmm. you catch my drift. Activate that thing. Ah, oh, yeah, nice. And uh, there was a huge woman, um, ordering, like two giant like family meals, like enough food for eight people, and the little girl behind the counter. <laughs> <laughs> was like, is this for here to go? And the giant woman was like, excuse me? You think I can eat all this by myself? And the girl behind the counter was like, bitch, I don't know your life! <laughs> <laughs> that. Excuse me! <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking bokeh gets me every time. That's that's another. That's a that was from when uh same neighborhood, a woman walked into a CVS. I believe she was a a peruser of crack, um because she had like the wig and everything like that, yeah. and um and uh, she just came in and yelled like, "Hey, uh, where the pussy products at?" And the person behind the counter was like, um, aisle eight. And she was like, okay! <laughs> <laughs> Where the pussy products at? It is amazing. Yo, I'm talking about my cat whiskers. <laughs> I ain't talking about my vagina. <laughs> my, 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 <laughs> Boys have a penis and girls have a vagina. <laughs> you got a dirty mind. What is that? That symbol. Oh, so uh, fly to your house. Okay. Okay! <laughs> okay! I'll do it right now! <laughs> you just gotta select it on a map right here, and then Irene will come down. Yo, Irene, where the pussy products at? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I take it there! I take it there post taste! It keeps looking like she just stabs the broom into your face, yeah, and you're much. like. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. We're playing the feud. Yeah, we just ordered some feud ourselves. <laughs> That's right. We do, do you want to tell people about this? <laughs> yeah. I was ordering from this place that sells fucking kebabs. Whoops. Shit. I was ordering from this place that sells fucking kebabs, and like the whole menu is just like totally normal standard fare. It's like pork, pork leg, pork wrap, chicken, chicken thigh. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll get what I want. And then I'm like, Kevin, what do you want? Fuck! 
And he's like, he's like, I'll get a wrap. And I'm like, cool. And I load up the wrap menu. And then, and then it's like, <laughs> choice of sauce. And the first option is, oh yeah, <laughs> sauce. <laughs> It was like gangster style. Yeah. Make it rain sauce. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I was ah, goddamn. Boy, oh boy, that's I really tough. gotta make that jump first. Yeah, it, so fucking weird. But uh, he was like, no sauce, <laughs> and I was like, ah, and then he, and then I was like, do you want a side? And he was like, wait, give me a side of gangster style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, you got it, buddy. I'm uh. I'm very excited about my yogurt soda that I ordered. <laughs> Yolk soda? Yeah. I was like, that sounds disgusting. And you were like, do you want it? I was like, yeah, I want it. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. Let's try some weird shit. Is there a pancake place in, in Portland or Seattle? I would assume yes. Okay, well, they like, are major metropolitan cities. Like a famous. Because oh. there are like really good ones here. And like, I'm trying to find like the most amazing pancake I've ever had. D it, w it wouldn't be the griddle. The, see, the griddle is up there, right? Like, the griddle and Dupar's right now are, are up there for me. Watching you eat that griddle pancake stack was one of the most disgusting things I've ever witnessed with my own eyes. I had it in my fridge and had it for breakfast for four days <laughs> after <laughs> we had eaten at the griddle. I never... God, it's on my... I think it was on the my old phone which got thrown away, but like... Um... <laughs> I have pictures. The Griddle is this place in LA for anyone who doesn't know that serves enormous pancakes. Giant. Like the size of half your body in a stack. They- and, they, and you know what they do too is they- they rig it like a sitcom. Mm -hmm. Where you go in and then you're- you're like, uh, can I get a short stack? And they're like, short stack as in like, two pancakes? And they're like, it's like, uh, like two or three? And they're like, yeah, two. <laughs> and then they're like, yeah, 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 I think I could do two. And they're like, oh, you think? <laughs> like, they, they, they- they aren't like... That's really big, and you should probably only get one. It's really funny. It's really funny. <laughs> e each one, each pancake is the size of like a like a large pizza. Yeah. And uh, so I have a, a series of pictures of Aaron, s like smiling with the thumbs up in front of his like freshly served <laughs> stack of pancakes, and then like what looks to be like one eighteenth of the pancakes eaten, and Aaron, like, with his head in his hands, just, like, fucking sweaty, and the hair matted to his forehead. Oh, that's oh, gosh. so true. It's magical. Next time on Game Rooms, hey? Yep. We'll, we'll see you then. It's definitely a memorable game. Like, I remember... Oh, God, this is going, like, way back into my childhood, but, like, there was... Even, like, there, a little Grinch moment? Like, yeah. There was a place... That before Burger King came to my town, there was a place called Burger Express. And I don't I don't even know if they exist anymore. Or if it even was a chain. Yeah. But they had a Burger Time video game in there, like the arcade cabinet. And uh I played the shit out of it and I loved it. Whoa. And like I would say Burger Time what is this, like 1982, 83? Huh? Because I couldn't have been older than like three. Um the uh it was one of those games, it was like, not, um, it was not the most popular game, but like, like, Pac-Man was popular, and, and, yeah. and Asteroids was huge, but like, um, Burger Time was like that second level of, like, popularity. It was the Sonic the Hedgehog of arcade cabinets. You heard it here first. Burger Time is the Sonic the Hedgehog of its era. Yeah, it's true. It, it was like, number two. Hey guys, um, how about a nice big can of fuck you? Ooh. Mmm. Yeah. That's a six pack. <laughs> Plenty of delicious fuck for everybody. It's a two liter bottle comes free with your pizza. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's oh it is. It is nice. It's it's a cheap. It's it's the best deal. Along with stabby bread. That they offer. <laughs> stabby bread. Yeah. Mmm, fucking stabby. Sometimes I just get it for the stabby bread. Yeah. I don't even get the fucking pizza. I've i I've told you about this. My 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 penchant for putting an extra lilt in my voice when I order crazy bread over the phone. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. Crazy bread. Yeah, yeah. I'll take uh, two plain pies. Actually, give me one half pepperoni and some crazy bread. <laughs> <laughs> crazy bread. I'm feeling it tonight. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Ah. Woo! Oh, jeez. Yeah. Sorry, I had to. Send your most unarmed delivery man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't inform him of the situation that's happening right now. No, oh, that was a good wind up.
Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's more rainbow Twizzler juice right here. Oh, shit. Fucking full up on the Twizzler juice. Nice. Yo, I think you can get this shit at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's the Cracker Barrel. Yeah, you know? This place is fucking delicious. Their pancakes are supreme. My grandma loves it. Really? Uh, no. She- she likes home country buffet, which is the same kind of thing. You know what? Do you, I don't know if I want to give My uncle refers to it as a disgusting swill bucket. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to speak for Markiplier or anything, but he has told me on many occasions that Cracker Barrel is his absolute favorite restaurant. Get out of here. Yeah. In that case, I want to go with it with him. I know, don't why. you like right? Be, like even if somebody was like, it, if it somewhere you've been like a million times and it's like, oh fucking McDonald's. But if someone's like, dude, McDonald's is my number one favorite restaurant, you'd be like, dude, I want to party with you there. Yeah, what? Let's fucking go. I'm down. Yeah, fine. Like, what's good there? <laughs> yeah. Explain. What does McDonald's even have? <laughs> I haven't. I have dude. not honestly been inside a McDonald's in. Almost 15 years that, now. That is absolutely to your benefit. Yeah, I know. I can say without a doubt. Yeah. F wait, it's coincidental, because 15 years is the amount of years I've added onto the end of my life <laughs> <laughs> by not eating. Oh, man. Sick McDonald's burn, bro. Yeah, well, they burn themselves. I guess we'll never get a McDonald's brand deal. Yeah, sorry about that. Not that I would ever, you know, ever want one. But McDonald's, if you're ever looking, yeah. <laughs> count to the game you've grounds. you've got three million dollars, or even twenty dollars, burning a hole in your pockets. <laughs> twenty dollars. Yeah, I'd do a twenty dollar brand deal for McDonald's, oh are you kidding me? Oh my god. Cause... What if they asked you to eat their disgusting Big Macs? Yeah, I would need like a chum bucket. Yeah. Like actors get. <laughs> chum bucket? Yeah, you've never heard that term? This- this feels like, um... This feels like a- like a Hawaiian restaurant. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like islands. What were you gonna tell me? What was your island story? Oh, I went there and I had some fries. God fucking damn it, I knew it! <laughs> I went there- Susie and I went there because we were like, Oh man, we keep seeing <laughs> this place and I'm- I'm in- Susie's like, you know, I'm interested in going to that place. And I was like, Whoa, me too. That's weird that we both were into this, like, weird place that we wouldn't normally be into. Mm -hmm. Let's go there and eat. So we went there and eat, ate. Mm -hmm. And it was the worst. Oh, you didn't like it? Restaurant experience I have ever had in my life. But you like IHOP. And it stuff. was well, IHOP is there's is no bullshit. They're just like, yeah, it's a diner. What right. are you gonna do? But <laughs> Islands is like, we're a restaurant. Have fun. Bring your kids. That's the uh, first of all. That's my favorite uh, tagline of any place I've ever heard. IHOP. What are you gonna do? <laughs> You're already here. <laughs> 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 Sorry, uh, Islands is just like a- like a tropical-themed Bennigan's, basically. They're so gross. Everything there is gross. <sighs> Only Patrick can use the freezy fruit. Their shit is so gross, dude, like... I had a- I don't remember what I got there, I think I got fries? Mm hmm That's the end of my story. I- no. I went, uh, I went there recently with my friend Amy and she was like, um... I don't know, I just- I eat really lightly, because... Sometimes when I eat food that's too heavy, like I just well, you like chicky fingers. Yeah, that's yeah, your jam. That, that's so, what. Yeah, so that's why. So a place I went. that has good chicky finger, dude. Chili's has the best chicky fingers. Well, that really? Yeah, you gotta go there, dude. I'll go there in a They're heartbeat. Called chicken crispers. Oh fuck! They're fucking delicious. I think you would love them. I'll do it. Because um, I love them. All I was gonna say though was that like, she was like, "Where do you want to eat tonight?" And I was like, "I don't know. I could go for something light like sushi." And she's like. I want a giant fucking burger, like the kind that I'll feel like dying afterwards. And I was like, let's go to Islands! And that's what she got. And that's, uh... And she enjoyed it immensely. Dude, if you want the a- The end. If you want a giant fucking burger like you're gonna die, you either go to Red Robin... Oh yeah, Red Robin will kill a person. Or you go to Umami Burger. Or oh. you can go to Slater's. Slater's is crazy. Umami Burger. Umami. I thought you said, uh, Mommy Burger. Uh, Mommy Burger? Yeah, as in, like, a place called Mommy Burger, and I was like, I do not want to eat a Mommy Burger. I want to go to Mommy Burger right now. Yeah. Mommy. <laughs> Ma mommy. Ma Ma or, mommy. Or, mommy. Yeah, yeah, mommy. Yeah, it's like a bunch of guys on the side of the road. Mommy, get hey, the burger. Hey, hey burger. Mm, make me a burger. Mm, 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 spicy. Mm, mm. You, you look so good. You look so good. Mm, extra cheese. Get between these buns. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, we're playing Bloodborne. You're a hot chick, sign here. <laughs> <laughs> cool glasses, check. Noted. Those are actually extra. It's like guacamole at Chipotle. Oh, fucking... <laughs> how dare they charge extra. I don't- yeah, every They're single avocados. time. They're the cheapest every single fucking time. Well, it's- it's like, I don't want to sit through the rigmarole of like, it's extra! So I'm just like, I know it's extra, and then it makes me sound douchey. You know? <laughs> 
I'm like, I'll have guacamole. I know it's extra. Yeah, you always do sound douchey whenever you know, like, the place a little too well and you're trying to help them by being really specific yeah. with your order. Like, when I go to Panera, I'm like, I'll have a turkey plain with apple on the side and a large ice cream tea. No need to do the thing you guys always do. And they're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, fucking this guy. Not a baguette, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I have to do is go back to, uh, Kir- 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 Ko- Kobitan. Kobitan. Mm-hmm. I gotta go in that room with my the favorite two. sushi place. <laughs> you know, you know what? The other day, I found a sushi place, sushi and teriyaki place called Samurai, and I'm so glad that I finally found a place called Samurai. Samurai Sushi? Because I've always been joking about it. Like, there used to be one in Milburn, New Jersey. I don't oh, know if yeah? it's still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's literally the most stereotypical name for a Japanese restaurant you could possibly have next to Ninja. It's the best. It well, there's also like. A ton of Japanese restaurants that are just like, I mean, obviously this is a stupid non-Japanese speaking person thing to say, but it's just like different combinations of the same four syllables, like Kobitan, or Tanika, or Akumatobe, or Katsikaba, <laughs> you know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, that's definitely one of the stupidest things <laughs> ever said, hands down. Yeah, well, maybe they should stop naming their shit the- nice. All right. Each of us has a tiny Sonic in our soul. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. That cannot be surgically removed. Nope. It's the same thing as the soul, actually. It's a. If you try to take him out, he just wags his finger at you, and he's like, mm-mm. It's a chili dog born infection. <laughs> you get it from- The only cure is more chili dogs, You get it from Sonic. Does Sonic serve- Do they have chili dogs at Sonic's? Uh, I've never been to a Sonic, I've so. never been there either. Whoa. I mean, maybe, maybe- if not Sonic's, then, uh, um, uh, Wiener Schnitzel. There you go. Home of the Sonic. They burger. have they have hot, chili dogs. They're all about them chili dogs. I remember the first time I came to America. Uh, I, that was like one of the earliest places I went to. Really? Yeah. With my friend, uh, my friend Mike or CC, who who works at Riot. What nice. up, CC? What um, what what does Riot make? Like Grand Theft Auto or something? Something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I think they make Dota too. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna get you killed. <laughs> Russ was found dead in his bed this morning. They think he died of murder. <laughs> what a weird game. I'm I'm loving it. Just like a McDonald's hamburger. But you do love those. I no, I don't. I fucking hate McDonald's. Really? Shit's disgusting as fuck. Huh. Interesting. Their chicken nuggets are okay. But goddamn their burgers make me want to fucking vomit immediately. <laughs> love Wendy's though. Wendy's, you my girl. Wendy's is a fucking bomb, My dude. girl for life. Don't you think I like anybody else but Wendy's? I might have eaten Shake Shack today, but deep down, I'm a Wendy's boy, <laughs> through and through. I, I was thinking about you the whole time, Wendy. So <laughs> <laughs> what it looks like. I even shouted your name a couple times. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was wrong. There was another place I worked where I did make food for people. Um, when I worked at Godiva, uh, give I would- Give me something, give me something. I would make, uh, make the shakes for people. Oh yeah? And, uh, they're not really shakes, they're called chocolate elixirs if you want to feel pretentious. Whoa. Is that trademark? Yeah. Should be. Uh, bacon and cheese only. Wow. Uh, and I would have to, like, you know, wear gloves, make the drinks, but I made mad drinks, man. Yeah? Like, I would take, like, chocolates out of, like, the Godiva chocolate cases and, like, make drinks out of those. Whoa. Like, I would make hot chocolate with the, like, chocolate hazelnut prawn and seashells, mm -hmm. like, shit like that. Oh, so good. Like, people would be like, I want a mint chocolate, you know, drink, but you don't have one. I'd be like, oh, well, shit, I'll just take two mint chocolate things out of the case and mix it into a drink for you. Mm. And I would charge them a little bit extra for it, but it was always fucking worth it. And I could never accept tips. Wow. Yeah. That is rad. It's a trap. God. But I made the like if I if I ever went there again, I'd be like if you if you go to a Godiva and ask them to like mix a thing in your drink, you should do it. I will. Uh, only a couple stores will actually do it for you if they're cool. Uh, okay. Do I have to go inside the pyramid? That is the question. Uh, that is the question. I'm waiting for an ad to load. Thanks, YouTube. Oh, I got a, quite a hankering for KFC right now, though. I'll what? tell you that. Oh, don't fucking... Oh, look at those nuggets. Look at those nuggets just no, tumbling. No, Just no. tumbling down. I can't have fried food. Dude. Oh, the kernel. Just kidding. Sh shit is gross. I know. I can't have fried food, Dan. How do you KFC, Aaron? That's their hashtag that I guess you can tweet. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Yeah. How do you KFC? I don't know. I guess I fucking put it in my mouth. <laughs> 
<laughs> no. And then have violent diarrhea later. Yeah, can we please, like, post-fist this with, like, Pre KFC is gross. Pretty, so that's yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. not at all a free advertisement for them. Oh, yeah, no. I don't- I don't like fast food. I, and I, I don't say that in like a fucking like, oh, I'm so great, I make such great life choices way, it's- it's just gross to me. I like, uh... I like Wendy's. Yeah, you really do! Love Wendy's. But you don't like other fast food, right? I like Taco Bell. Taco Bell yeah. is like... I'm down with the T-Bell. I mean... In fact, I could probably crave Taco Bell more than Wendy's. If they could have like... Like, just heartburn in like, pill form... I bet they could do it with crushed up Taco Bell. Oh, that sounds so good right now. Alright, here, pause for a second. Um, yeah, I was gonna share a story that happened. Um, so, we just- <laughs> oh, is, yeah. You know the story, Whoa, but- look at all those bobbles. You know the story, but it's embarrassing, but funny enough that I'll oh, share yeah. it. I'll, I'll hear it as many times as necessary. <sighs> This is so bad. <laughs> so so bad. It's good. We were we ha just this last weekend um, went as of the recording. Uh, we had Anime Expo. Well, many people had Anime many, Expo. Many many people. Not, not and just you. The, if you're not familiar with Anime Expo, that is the it's one an door. Anime Expo. Yes. Move on. It's it's the largest a anime convention in I think the world. I mean, maybe, I'm not oh. sure if Japan has a bigger one. Um, it's but big. We. Uh, uh, Susie and Holly had a booth there, mm -hmm. so um, I was going a few days just to kind of um, basically just like help Holly and support her and everything, and sure. uh, of course be there for Susie as well. Um, Are you banging your head on those pots? I think so. Oh, I am. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's uh, weird. And when we uh, one one day, like one morning, I was like feeling kind of sick, and I, I had a like a, one of those like nasty diarrhea poos, and I was like, oh, this isn't good. Mm -hmm. So then. On the way to Anime Expo, I started going, Oh dear God. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so I had to get them to literally let me out of the car really early to kind of get- run into Anime Expo. Like, mm -hmm. run. I had to get to a bathroom really bad. I didn't- I, we didn't even get to the parking. I don't even know if I need to kill these guys. Are they even trying to- I think to they're friendly. Me? I think you're just murdering them. Nope, they're- I didn't they're want to interrupt your story, but yeah, That's no, you you just murdered the first dude who walked up. So, uh, I ran in. And of course, like here I am. I'm getting stopped a lot by like people like, "Hey, I love, I love Steam Train. I love Game Grumps." And I was like, ah, "Thank you, <laughs> thank you. That's great." And I was like, ins insides it, are like "Internally, blah, 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 blah. I'm screaming, and I can feel my like stomach like ready to like oh, go no. like Chernobyl on my ass." <laughs> so I'm like, "This is not good." And then I just get to the toilet, and it's just like it's all water. This is a, this is an integral part to the story, by the yeah, way. So I'm no. I'm not sparing the details. It's how did it smell? I wasn't gonna go that far. Okay. Uh, so it's important to the story. Barry, no, it's not. <laughs> okay. Um, so, oh my god, this is so, so stupid. So, basically what happened was, the rest of the day I was like, you know, I'm probably gonna be better. I had a, I had some food, and I was like, okay, you know, I think I'm getting better. This is, I don't think that's gonna happen again. <laughs> Anime Expo ended, and it was, I think this is the last day. So Anime Expo ended, and we were like, oh, let's end it by going to dinner. So it was, uh, myself... Ah, fucking bird. It was myself, Holly, and once again, our friend Katie. And uh, we were basically going to anime, like, to finish anime, so we're going to go have some, like, ramen at, at Little Tokyo, because they have some really good ramen places. Mm -hmm. And on the way there, I get a text message from John, <laughs> right. believe it or not, yeah. uh, who is currently here filming uh, the rest of Starcade. And he, sales, he tells me, uh, Hey Russ, what are you up to? And I'm like, oh, I'm going to uh, Little Tokyo. And he's like, I'm in Little Tokyo. And I was like, Oh, do you want to join us for dinner? And he was like, Absolutely. That sounds so, like a wonderful time. Yeah. So completely free of diarrhea. Yeah. So <laughs> we went to this ramen place. Really good ramen. Um, first of all, like we had to walk through like a huge crowd of people because I didn't think for a second like, Oh, there's an anime convention in town. <laughs> Walking sure distance from Little Tokyo. I'm sure no one's gonna be in Little Tokyo. <laughs> and then we went there, and of course, like every five steps was just like. Ross Jontron, Ross Jontron. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. Oh, oh. Also, this oh. is interesting. So, <laughs> we we go to this all ramen of this, place. All this exposition yeah. to this story. I know. We go to this ramen <laughs> place, and um, uh, we're literally waiting for like what felt like two hours. I think John was like super impatient about it, but mm -hmm. we, um, we managed to uh, like finally sit down. We have some ramen. It was really good ramen. 
But Where, where'd you guys go? I, I can't remember the name of the place. It's it's out of what, the main was center. It of it. No, it's actually not. It's actually not. Was it the like huh, ramen this? man or ramen I, boy or whatever? I, I whatever. It's not. It's, important. It's, it's not important, but it's very good ramen. <laughs> There's a lot of really good ramen in that yeah. area. Yeah, um, it doesn't matter. So I had this really greasy ball of ramen, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be." gonna be great. But the whole time we're sitting there in that hour of waiting, it was just like, it became like a mini, like, YouTube meetup, basically. <laughs> like, people were like, John John Ross, John John Ross, John John Ross, and, because we had to wait for like an hour. Right. So that was going on. So there's tons of pictures that came out. Dude. Um, so we finished yeah. the, they finished the ramen and we leave. And we walk back into the main part of Little Tokyo and there's oh, this, oh it no. Crashed. Uh, continue story. I'm just gonna reset the game. No, let's pause okay, and move we'll pa forward. Okay, we'll pause for a second. Story. Sorry. Yeah. This is the very this is a very slow story, <laughs> but I promise it's it's it has an ending. Um, <laughs> so what happened was John and I and uh, Katie and Holly we all left uh, this ramen place, and on the way back to the main part of Little Tokyo, we were making fun of this uh, this play that um, is. It's basically a play that William Shatner has. It's a theater play, and I think that is in New York. I don't really know anything about it, other than the fact that he'll just tell stories about how he inspired people and how he's amazing and how he thinks he's great. And then, but and according to some people that were at one of his plays, oh, I got a thing. He he shat his pants <laughs> and just walked off stage, and that was the end of the play. Uh huh. William so Shatner. We're, we're all, yes, yeah, we were all making fun of that, like, oh, William Shatner, ha ha ha, That's the joke. That's where I went. Yeah, and then, exactly, we all went there. Yeah. Um, and then... When did that happen? I don't know. It, oh was, it was something that we were being told about. Huh. Um, so, we're, we're back in the main part of Little Tokyo, and there's this, like, cute plushie store that's, like, all cute animals and stuff. And uh, we walk in, because our friend Katie hadn't seen it before, and I, I, I think John had seen it before, from back when he lived here. And um, we <laughs> we walk in there, and I'm like look, showing Holly like plushy birds and all that. And I'm just like, oh man, shit, the, the the that greasy ramen. No, no, no. And I'm like, I have to fart. Oh god, I have to fart. Oh, I have to fart. And I was like, I'll just slip one out. I don't think it's gonna smell that bad. So I fart. I don't fart. I, I shart. Oh god. <laughs> I shart soup so bad <laughs> that I feel like. Liquid oh, on my legs. Oh no 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 no! And no. I'm like, this is the worst thing that's ever happened to me. This is the uh. karma I get for making fun of William Shatner. You never make fun for of for shitting William his Shatner. pants. So I'm Serves like in the right. middle of this store, and I realize that at the door, a bunch of like Game Grumps and well, you know, the association, JonTron, and all these fans had like accumulated because they all knew that we were now in Little Tokyo. Right. So they're all at the door. <laughs> I, I hears me with shit. And you shit, have shit in your shit pants. Shit in my pants. I shit you not. Liquid shit. Yeah, liquid shit in my pants. And <laughs> I'm the door's blocked. And I, I I'm like, Holly, I need to I need to go to a bathroom. She's like, oh, do you need to go poo? And I'm like, not anymore. <laughs> God, <no>. Um so <laughs> we we try to leave oh, and I'm God. I'm stopped. Actually, the, a photo I retweeted recently, I, I I'm like look really upset and I'm on my phone. Reason I retweeted that was because I shit my pants in that photo. <laughs> Gavin put up the photo. Uh, Here's another photo oh of me no. trying to run to the bathroom. Oh, These stopped. poor people thought you were just being a jerk. Yeah. But you had shit in your yeah, pants. Yeah, I felt really bad because here's the thing. We like, we, we, all these people stopped us, all these uh, now finished Anime Expo attendees, and I'm like trying to get to a bathroom and I go into a grocery store and then I get stopped again because the line was too big there. There was like all these people from Anime Expo trying to use that bathroom. And I guess, like, it was too long to wait for me, so I was like, fuck, this is so bad. And then, I like, we, I tried to escape, and every five steps I was getting stopped, getting stopped, <laughs> getting stopped. And John was like, I'm sorry, sorry, we gotta stop, we can't, we can't, you can't, you can't, please, please leave him alone, please don't leave him alone. Aww. And then we, there, there's God this, damn. like, these, these nice two girls that stopped me, and I felt really bad, so I was like, yeah, sure, one quick photo, and I'm like, Ugh. It's just, yeah, photo. Oh. Yeah, I'll give you the, the photos, Kevin. Oh my God. I don't know if we should blur faces or not. I, I guess it's fine. Well, they're, they're, they're lovelies. I'm they're, sure they, they'd be fine with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, enjoy the cameo. Enjoy Sorry the cameo, if you didn't guys. want your face on the episode. Yeah. I'll put an annotation on top if you don't want it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah but shit, man. Literally shit everywhere yeah. in my pants. And then we walked all the. So to give you an idea, so like the central little Tokyo is so fucking, um, I guess, like. It's like kind of small, and mm -hmm. the only bathroom I could find was Cafe Demitas, which is like 
really far away. Right. Yeah. Because I that's, like that's that's a bit of a walk. Yeah. That's a, so that's a squidgy walk. So I had to squidgy penguin walk the whole <laughs> way there with no. like, but like you know when you like walk and you're like clenching your butt cheeks because you don't want anything getting out. Well, sure. And I didn't want like brown coming through the jeans or anything. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I had to walk all the way to Cafe Damitas so to sorry, like, clean up. And then like I'm sorry you had squidgy. Poop. I go in there and I come out and like everyone's looking at me and they're like, "How was it?" I'm like. It's pretty, it's pretty fucking bad, dude. So what'd you do? You just like throw out your underwear? And... Uh, no, I had to wear the underwear the rest oh, of the time around no. Little Tokyo. And uh, then I got home and immediately changed it. It was the worst. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. I immediately wanted to go home after that. I am so sorry. So that's what, see, that's what you get. When you make fun of someone for shitting your pants, you're gonna shit you're gonna your shit pants. You're gonna shit your pants. So that's the moral of the story. And then take a picture with you. Yeah. When you've shit in your pants. Oh At least no God. one smacked your butt. Like, hey, there, there, sport. Oh, it like just gets all over like <laughs> yeah, and they're like my, ruins my jeans what? forever and their hands just immediately covered in shit All right Anyway <laughs> next time on steam train <laughs> also, we're gonna look up a bit of hell yeah, on this game Because this game has a lot of no direction and, Yeah, but it's which, very pretty and I want to play it. So I'm having fun But I also am scared to pause it in case it crashes the yeah, game. Yeah, it crashed when we paused it so and I am we'll, afraid we'll to, figure it out. I'm afraid the save option might be in the pause menu. Yeah. That's a good story. That's a real good story.